doesn't it does not matter what anybody thinks. Sonny's in charge. I'm backing them all the way. That's what you tell the men. If anybody has a problem, set up a meeting. I will deal with them personally. Okay, thank you. What the hell do you want? Is there any way to talk to your new partner? Yeah, Sonny's running the business again. But that doesn't mean I have to agree with every decision that he makes. I think bringing you on is a huge mistake. Well, as you said, Sonny's the one who's running things, so it's really not your Okay, then I'll ask again. What do you want, Rick? Look, you and I don't like each other, and that's never going to change. But things have fallen out in a way that we're forced to work together. I think the best thing that we can do is put our personal differences aside and band together for the common good. Now, Jason, I'm willing to do that. Are you saying that? No, I'm not, I will never band together with you. Oh. It's going to be very disappointing for Sonny to hear. Well, then he can talk to me himself. My position's not going to change. Uh, look, I realize that the, the personal dynamics here are a little subtle for you to understand, so let me try to explain it. You and Sonny had just recently come together and had a meeting of the minds after a very, very difficult year. So your, your bond is very new and very tenuous. Sonny's going to be watching you. He's going to look to see if you're going to undermine his decisions. So your attitude towards me be it negative, could come back to haunt you. And why, why, why are you standing there so smug, telling me how things are going to be? Because you're Rick. So you must have some kind of leverage. Now, I don't know what, I don't know who against, but I'm going to find the leverage. And when I do, I'm going to get rid of you once and for all. Rick. The only leverage that I have, Jason, the only leverage I need is the confidence and the backing of my brother. Now, I understand that you don't like that, but hey, there it is anyway. And if Sonny is going to pull off this rather difficult merger between two disparate organizations, he's going to need the both of us. It would be counterproductive, if not dangerous, for you to subvert me. Well, I can't tell Sonny who to hire, Rick, but I, I do have his ear. And I will make sure that he never makes the mistake of trusting you again. Okay, you're a little slow, so let me spell it out for you. The order of the universe has not changed. You are no longer in charge of anything. You are nothing but a thug with a gun, what you were born to be. The difference, Sonny's got a glimpse of your ambition. He's seen that you've taken power and you thrive in it. So, Jason, while you're in Sonny's ear, I guarantee you, I'm going to be in the other one. Okay, so it's official. The fridge dropped all the charges against you. So he called me here to celebrate a little bit? Actually, I, I don't make it a practice to rest on my laurels. I keep an eye on the future. Ooh, seeing anything good? Most definitely. And I, I will share that in but a moment. But first, I, I, I'd like to express my multitudinous gratitude for your efforts in getting the jackal from under the boot of the federal ones. No, listen, I was happy to help. You do know that I consider you a friend. So whenever you need me, I will be there. Well, it would be easier if I didn't have to look any further than uh, across the room. Across? I don't follow what's going on. I was... I was... In mightily impressed by your investigative skills and your formidable prowess in the field. Well, thank you, but you need to take your own credit, because without your computer savvy, I would have never been able to break into that evidence room. Right, which illustrates our compatibility, our, our effortless, even instinctive, th that synchronicity that we share, our, our, our ability to even intuit each other's moves. I, ju I don't know if I would take it that far, but, but I It would understand. be a travesty to let that, that magical communion of towns just wither and die due to lack of direction, so... I have a proposition for a new venture. Hmm. Jackal and McCall, private investigators. <laughs> oh God. It's a little premature because I don't even have my license yet, okay? And for the record, it would be McCall and Jackal. Okay, fine, no quibbling. But keeping my eye on, on the larger picture in that vein, I don't see any delay in procuring your license to operate now that Agent Rainer's dark plan has been thwarted. Yeah, um, I'm honored that you would think about me. I really am, but 
You just don't understand that I kind of work best when I'm like, I don't know, I guess I really need to... I'm so sorry to be the blight of what should be a celebratory moment. Ah, oh, that doesn't sound good. It's nothing less than disaster. Obviously, the priestess is in grave distress. Can, can we help? You can't. My employment with the government has been terminated. That's the disaster. Okay, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to sound like that. It's terrible. And Wait, no, This is an outrage. On, on what grounds did the humorless one base this unfair decision? Well, according to Agent Rayner, I'm a security risk. Because of your unwavering insistence on the Jackal's behalf. No! Do not turn this around on yourself. I was very well aware of the potential consequences of my actions. Yeah, look, and to be fair to Agent Reiner, Winifred, you did break into his office and steal highly classified information off his computer. Yeah, but he has no proof of that. The, the Jackal left no footprints by which to trace the priestess's participation. He is simply being vindictive. You know, we must enlist the services of your fearless mother, the Avenging D.A. Davis, to, to take up our cause listen, and regain Winifred's status. Please listen to me. I, uh, I don't want to sound negative or anything, but I don't want to involve my mom over some FBI personnel issues, okay? No. Alas, it would be in vain. I am touched and grateful for your impassioned response to my plight, but Agent Rayner made it very clear. If I fight this, an investigation into the disappearance of the evidence against Mr. Jackal will be officially opened and charges will be filed. So, as difficult as it is to accept, the choice has been made. I have joined the ranks of, of the currently unemployed, but it's not a great place to be in this faltering economy. I have marketable skills, and Lady Luck will smile in my direction, and I will find gainful employment, and hope in spring's eternal and all that. Well... Yes. Yes, of, of, of course. It's, it's, it's done. Excuse me? And, and you agree, right? What are you talking about? The priestess shall not suffer for her noble actions on the Jackal's behalf. Therefore... I offer her immediate employment at the offices of private investigators Jacqueline, sorry, McCall and Jacqueline.